Hi and welcome to Ruby on Rails a Beginner's Tutorial. This is for people with front-end experience but has no back-end experience and like to learn. It can also be for people with only coding experience but no web development experience. There are a few prerequisites though. You have, need to have Ruby installed, Ruby on Rails and SQLite and you need to have some experience working with the terminal and the command line and also a good text editor such as Atom, Sublime or Aptana Studio. Although not necessary, it's recommended that you have a Git version control system installed since we will be committing with Git throughout the development of our application. Okay, let's get started. First, open up your browser window and go to guides.rubyonrails.org and click on Getting Started with Rails. This takes you to a page that contains information how to set up your Rails environment. It also contains the majority of the instructions for this tutorial. Minimize the browser window and open up the terminal. I am enlarging the text so the typing will be more visible more clearly. Let's make a directory for our project. You do so by typing mkdir and the name of the new directory which we are creating. I will name it ROR projects for Ruby on Rails projects. To change into our new directory we type cd and the name of the project director we just created. We are now ready to create our Rails application. Type Rails, New, and the name of our application, which we will name Blog. Rails automatically generates several files and folders, which are the foundation for our application. While these files and folders are being generated, Let's take a look at how Rails processes information. Here is a flowchart of Ruby on Rails, how it works. When the browser gets the requests, it sends it to the controller. The controller then makes a decision whether it needs to connect to the database or not. If no, it goes to the views, which contains the HTML docs, and sends it back to the browser. If it says yes, it sends a request to the model which in turn sends the request to the database, then sends it back once they're getting the desired information to the controller, to the views, and out to the browser. There are something called helper files. Helper files are really great to put functions with math for, for instance, compute time or make a calendar or something like that. Also, of course, in the background is the server that needs to be running in order for us to see it in our browser. Okay, Rails has now generated the application. Type clear to clear the terminal window. Let's change directory into our blog application. And we will now start the server. Open up a new tab and type Rails server. When the server starts, we will see some text generated. It tells us that to access our web page in the browser, type localhost 3000. When you want to stop the server, you type control C. Remember on a Mac, it's different, I can't remember. Go to your browser and go to localhost 3000. If all have gone well, you'll see the default web page for Ruby on Rails. It also shows what Rails version you're working on and what Ruby version and the underlying operating system I run on Linux Ubuntu. Go back to the terminal. Here you see that there is now more text displayed. This shows that the server used the method called get to output the web page to the browser. However, we will talk about that more later. We will now open up our text editor. So type the name of your text editor. I use Adam, 
So you type atom in a space dot. This actually opens up the, the text editor directly into the blog application with all the files and folders displayed. All right, here we go. So you see we are now in our uh, ROAR project slash blog and our all our files and folders are green. That is because we haven't committed anything to git yet. So let's do that. Let's so we'll do a first git init in it and let's type git add Oh, let's do the git status first actually. Here you see all the git files that oh, the files that hasn't been committed yet. Let's clear the window so we can be on top. Type git add space dot and then we're going to commit what we just did. git commit dash m and then single quotation mark and just type initial commit. Okay, so it, um, let's clear the window and let's go back to our editor and you see that immediately our color of the files changed from green to gray. You will now learn how to generate your first controller action and view and make modifications to the routes file. Alrighty, let's get started with that. Generate the controller by typing rails, generate controller, the name of controller welcome, and the name of the action index. This generates the basic files needed. Let's take a look at everything in our text editor. As you can see, in the asset folder it created a coffee script file. In the style sheet folder it created a welcome style sheet. In our controllers folder we now have a file named controller underscore welcome dot rb. This is the controller we just generated and this is the action we created. In the views folder we now have a subfolder named welcome that contains the file named index.html.erb. This document and the index action in the welcome controller have matching names so they can communicate with each other. The routes.rb file in the config folder has been modified. A get method tells us that the route welcome slash index will fetch the HTML document in the browser. Go to the browser after localhost 3000 type slash welcome slash index and here you see this is the HTML document or the view as we call it in Ruby. Go to your terminal window where you started the server. Here you see that the get method was executed and welcome controller and index action was processed at, as HTML. Let's go back to the text editor and modify the routes so that the web page will be displayed without having to type welcome slash index. We do so by typing root, single quotation, welcome, pound sign, index. In your browser window, go directly to localhost 3000. Now you see that the route w has been modified and the index view is now seen without having to type welcome slash index. And also in your uh, server window again, you see it says started get with just a slash, meaning it went to the root directory. Let's commit what we did. First clear the window, type git add dot. And then we type git status just to take a look at what we did. Okay, and we're going to type git commit dash m single quotation and what did we do? We added a controller named welcome and an action 
name index. And then we modified the routes file. So the route included or knew know how to go directly to welcome index at the root directory. All right. Okay, let's clear the window again. And let's type git status again and see what's ha what happened. Okay, so here it says that we on branch master and nothing to commit. Okay, we are good to go. Next up, we will begin using the Ruby syntax and create an input form for our blog.